Today we're going to be drawing a dress and then importing it into Excel and doing all the measurements for the dress so we can send it off to the manufacturer and give all the specifications so the manufacturer knows exactly um, what the garment is to measure and what um, particular places. Now this will give you the best fit and the best quality samples before going into production. So first of all we need to draw the dress. So what I'm going to do is the cheats way of drawing the dress in Illustrator. So I found a dress um, that is very similar to what I want to design. Here it is here. Just make it smaller. And basically what we're going to do is trace over it. So we use the pen tool. And draw the bodice first. And stretching out the node. And then see how the dot's gone to zero? That means we can close off the shape. So that's all the bodice. Now we'll do the skirt. And what you can do rather than drawing it again is select them and then go um, Command C which is copy and then Command uh, V which is paste. Then we can go to Object, Transform, Reflect, 90 degrees and then we've got exactly the same strap on the other side. Now if we take this picture away, I'll just select this. Um, right down in the left hand corner, can, this is our colour palette, so at the moment the outline is nothing, so we want to change it to black. Now we've got a black outline. Now right at the top, the stroke of the outline says one point, so we might want to make that a little bit lighter, so maybe 0.75 or even half a point. It's a little bit more finer and nicer. Now you can make this shape go to the front by going, pressing command, no sorry, control, and then you go arrange, bring to front. There we go. So we can just um, update the shape a little bit. So if you get the white pointer tool, I just move, oh, if you make a mistake, just go command Z. Just making it a little bit more even now. So now I'm just going to draw in some lines just to show like the fullness of the skirt. Oh. Oh, 
and there you have a dress. So we can sort of design lots of different things here. We can actually draw in the bias binding. Now I'll just change the design a little bit. So we've got something very similar but not the same um, design. So if I was to colour this right now, let's select it all, go copy, then paste. So I might actually decide to do, say, a grey dress. So if I just go up to the top color palette, change it to the fill color. Or I might decide to do some color blocking. And you can just play around. That's a great thing with drawing in Illustrator. You really can just play around with different color schemes until you find something that you really love.
Now if you wanted to make the skirt actually metallic, what you could do, because that would look hot, you go to gradient and see how we've just made it from dark to light. There's different choices there. We go actually you could do a dip dye that's pretty cool and you can change the color by just dropping things like that in there So more of a metallic dress. Then what you can do is copy and paste. If you don't like that, start again. You can do something different. And you can do a couple of different options up and then see which one you like the best. So for example, you could do a nighttime dress um, and these panels could be gold. Lurex. So, or if you wanted to do, for example, a navy um, nautical theme, you could do say, navy cornflower blue. The white. So there we have it. Lots of different designs and what you can do is come back to the shape and if you wanted to add for example buttons, if it was a nautical feel that would be quite cute or you can add bow, pleating, all of that kind of thing. You've got the base model. I'm just going to draw a button. So just make this small. there you have it. Nautical inspired. You could add a belt to that, lots of different things.